Good morning, Warren Street. Today is Tuesday, October 18, 2016. For lunch today, we will have macaroni and cheese with a side of corn. The alternate is sun butter and jelly. Recess will be outside if it is sunny. The word of the week is algorithm. Synonyms or words that mean the same thing are methods or procedures. Sports news. Winter Guard Varsity tryouts will be held in the gym tonight from 5 to 8.30 p.m. Odyssey of the Mind members. Please remember that the mandatory kickoff meeting is tonight at 6 p.m. Plan to bring an adult and meet in the cafeteria. The meeting should last about an hour. Now for a history trip. Between 1734 and 1737, the French built a fort named Fort St. Frederick. The bridge the British tried many t times to take over the fort in 1759. They did renaming. They did re renaming the area Crown Point for the king. They built a large fort next to the ruins of Fort St. Frederick, with our seven acres of land. Crown Point became one of the largest built by the British in North America. Crown Point sits on the west side of Lake Champlain, about 16 miles. Fort Ticonderoga. In 1775, American colonists took control of Crown Point, which was really important in winning the Revolutionary War. Today you can visit the fort and see a few ruins of the Crown Point in Fort St. Frederick. Check out these new videos Miss Courts took. Here we are at Crown Point, right on the edge of Lake Champlain. Right at the very edge was Fort St. Frederick, and you can see the ruins right here. Right in the center was where the citadel was, and the quarters where the officers stayed, and all the battle stations overlooking where now the bridge is. This is the British Fort of Crown Point. You can see here the ruins that still exist after so many years. Right now, I am inside the officers' quarters here at Crown Point. It's really neat to see how much is still here. Take a look at the fireplace. You can even see up where the second floor was. There was their fireplace. Thanks for listening. I'm Nicole. And I'm Aiden. Wishing you a great day.